hearty welcome to all of you in this video we are about to discuss <clears throat> research objectives of a research work or a research project or a phd or uh, like a doctorate degree and here we are going to discuss about the definitions and types also before that let us define how we define it in simple terms very first term here it is we are going to check for what we expect to achieve of a research work means what we are going to get from this research work or this research project in simple terms like is it feasible or flexible like that we think about some achievable things in our mind next objectives must be such that they help us to address the underlying issues of that particular problem statement that has been taken into consideration for research work let us discuss these definitions in depth but in simple words now coming to the research objectives very first thing we have to discuss here in defining it is specific in nature are they specific in nature or not next in specific in nature means it should not be a broader one and it should not be very simplistic but it must give you the specific with respect to the context of the research work like if we take some examples we are going to identify some object or if we are saying that identifying are some old or monuments things like that in that entire thing we should discuss about only a specific thing here means whatever thing we are discussing here must be clear and crystal that's why you call it as specific in nature next point is obtainable this is objectives or in other terms we can say achievable whenever you do a research work or start a research work a research objectives must be written by keeping in mind that are they achievable that is obtainable by means of any tools let it be theoretical type of research work or experiment type of research work is it attainable or that is obtainable we can give so many words for this one obtainable achievable attainable we have to think is it possible to get the outcome or not some of the research works will be there they go along with without considering the timelines but a research work must have a time bound otherwise it will like an infinite ocean next one is it a measurable one measurable why i am saying here is when you complete a proposal or prepare a research question the question comes here are you going to have some weightage of that work in the terms of both subjective analysis as well as objective analysis we cannot simply say a research work in vague words it must be like a clear one means it has to be identified means it has to be identified in what terms it has to be identified that tells about the word called measurable means we are going to attain some values some we, we might have put, could put down some type of equations in our research work we have to completely stick on to stick on the research equations in other words the equations are called as mathematical models in any research work now moving from definition let us go towards the types of research objectives very first type of the research objective is general objectives these general objectives of are of very broader sense means 
they are in, not in a narrower sense we can say we take a complete domain to explain our work which is sometimes you can say it is the beginning of a research work general objectives are very good or some of the case studies where we discuss about a huge population of explanation the general objectives explain the good amount of research questions but not apt that is the reason why we move towards specific objectives the specific objectives used to tell us the clear and crystal picture about what we are going to achieve or what we are going to obtain from our research work here in specific objectives when you put a specific objective we write the entire research work with respect to the expected outcome and to analyze that expected outcome we give some parametric values in the specific objectives means if we take any example like some object we can define its volume its area like that the specific objectives tell us exactly what you have achieved in what terminology you have achieved this is how the types of research objectives are defined in the next video we will discuss about each and every objective in clear picture and also we discuss about how to write a general objective and how to write a specific objective in the next coming upcoming videos now let me tell you one thing in some of the universities or most of the universities the research objectives are the ones that you have to go forward to complete your phd work otherwise if you tell something vaguely and they are not going to be satisfied with the criterions set by the research committees of the universities so kindly follow the rules provided by them and also keep it in mind how you are going to design them that is research objectives but most of the times in any research work the best rule used to be minimum of two to three research objectives not more than that not less than that more than that will make it a very broader sense and not attainable and it will make it a clumsy one when it comes to very less than that value what i have said it becomes like a small academic project it will not become a research work this is how we have to define our research objectives we will discuss about each and every objective in the next upcoming videos i hope you have understood this concept i request you to watch our videos like share and subscribe our channel for more videos